My father's been in eight different states. We've traveled all across this country visiting him. How is that not like slavery again? I remember like the first seven years not being with my son and not really meeting him physically until um, he was about to turn eight years old. At what point are we correcting anybody if there's no rehabilitative assessment? My father has zero infractions. He's never been in trouble. He's been a mentor to hundreds of men. And to some degree, for me, it's, I, I become a little jealous because I'm like, damn, they got time to spend with my dad that I didn't have. And so yeah, clemency is like, for so many of us, it's, it's a relief. It's like a relief if people even get this opportunity. So clemency is not just about pardoning the people who so-called did some crime. Clemency should be also about pardoning America, not repeating a cycle of going back into prison just because you're doing punishment. Like, the system needs clemency from itself as well. Reigniting our agency, our spirit in ourselves, not to be sitting in hopelessness. So I'm applying for clemency again because we're nonpartisan. Because at the end of the day, we want our parents home. We want our families home. They want to come home. They want to come home. And it's time. It's time. The system has overly grabbed our people. And when I say Holla stands on grassroots wisdom and curriculum and policy wins and organizing strategies, these are men and women in prison that are organizing each other's cases and families and helping each other get out, but also changing the culture inside the prison. And a lot of the work that we do now around clemency, around the 13th, around New Jim Crow, comes from the work that I would thread, the Greenhaven Think Tank and the Bedford Hills are the foundation of how we think about prison reform, prison abolition, the impacts of family, how certain communities feed the prison system. So. Yes, I think, I think when I think about clemency, and that's really important work. We criminalize people even beyond their incarceration. Children of incarcerated parents are more than likely not to share because I know what it does to me still to this very moment. I know what this does to me. And so, you know, when we do have a win and when we do have a voice, it's a, it's a beautiful opportunity but they need to know that they're in community and they're not alone. And so that's why I started We Got Us Now, so that we can amplify these young people's voices, so that practices and policies can understand that we matter, to create safe and inclusive spaces for them, so that they know that they're not alone, and ultimately, to keep families connected, because there's so many ways in which, again, that we are disconnected. And to end mass incarceration, because we do not want another generation of mass incarceration.